Hi there, so let's talk about Valentine's Day and how to make it absolutely unforgettable in the bedroom. I'm Helen Birch, your friendly sex educator and sexual freedom coach, and I'm here to share seven science back tips to help you have the most amazing sex on Valentine's Day. But before we get into that, I want you to scroll down to the description box because I have recently created a free ebook for overcoming sexual shame. So after this video, check out the link because I know that you are going to find it really useful in overcoming your sexual shame and embracing your healing. So we know that Valentine's Day is a big deal for couples when it comes to getting busy between the sheets. Studies actually show that about 60% of folks surveyed say it's one of the top days for getting frisky. So sure there are birthdays and other special occasions rank up there too, but Valentine's Day really is ranked right at the top. So now we want to make sure that your Valentine's Day sex is something really special. So how can we ensure that happens? Let's dive into this video. Okay, so let's kick off with tip number one. Have sex before dinner and drinks. So here's the deal. When you chow down on food, your body goes into digestion mode. And this means less blood flow to the areas that need it for arousal. Not exactly what you want when you're gearing up for some steamy action, right? Plus, let's talk about alcohol. So downing too many drinks can seriously mess with your ability to get it up. Yes, alcohol-induced erectile dysfunction is a real thing. So while you might not have any issues normally, overdoing it on the booze can definitely put a dampener on things down there. Keep that in mind when you're planning your Valentine's Day festivities. Okay, let's dive into tip number two. Spice things up with novelty. Especially if you've been together for a while, your brain craves something fresh and exciting. Doing the same old routine can make sex feel a bit lacklustre. So why not switch things up? Get creative. Try a new location, dabble in some role play or experiment with different positions. It's all about adding that little extra spark to make things more thrilling and lead to those mind-blowing orgasms. Okay, now tip number three, de-stress during the day. Stress can put a real dampener on your sex life by messing with your hormones and distracting your brain. Cortisol, the stress hormone, can lower your sex drive and make it harder to get in the mood. That's why it's crucial to find ways to unwind together. Whether it's getting a couple's massage, meditating or simply having a stress-free chat, find what works for both of you to be able to relax and connect. And let's talk about tip number four, get physical together. So again, we're not just talking about getting physical in the bedroom, though that is a definite bonus. One awesome way to connect with your partner is by exercising together. And here is a little secret. Exercising activates your sympathetic nervous system, which can actually amp up arousal and desire in the bedroom. How does it do this? Well, when you work out, blood flows to all the right places. If you kind of catch my drift, um, your heart rate goes up, your breathing gets faster. Does this all sound familiar to you? Yep, those are the exact same signs of arousal. But there is also more, so hold on. Exercise also floods your body with those feel-good hormones like endorphins and boost levels of testosterone, the hormone that is linked to desire in males and females. Plus, it's a killer stress buster. So by breaking a sweat together, you're not only getting closer physically, but also setting the stage for some seriously steamy moments later on. So it's time to hit the gym or get those walking shoes on. Okay, so let's talk about tip number five. Communication is key. 
if you want mind-blowing sex, you're going to have to ask for what you want and encourage your partner to do the same. Seriously, nobody is a mind reader. So if there's something that's really getting you going, then speak up. Confidence is sexy and there is nothing hotter than someone who knows what they want in bed. Plus, when you're both open about your desires, it leads to more pleasure and more satisfying orgasms for everyone involved. Now on to tip number six. Take the pressure off. Valentine's Day can feel like a lot of pressure to make everything perfect, especially when it comes to sex. But here is the thing. Sex should never be mandatory. Putting the kind of expectation on yourselves can actually backfire. It can lead to anxiety, performance pressure and take away from the pleasure of the experience. So here is the deal. Focus on intimacy and just having a great time together without the pressure of everything needing to go perfectly. Remember, there are plenty of ways to experience pleasure that don't revolve around penetration. So if things don't go according to plan, it's totally okay. Just roll with it, explore other avenues of pleasure and enjoy the moment for what it is. It's really all about connecting and feeling good together, no matter what happens. And finally, let's wrap up with tip number seven. Prioritise good sleep leading up to Valentine's Day. This one is a game changer. So think about it. If you're tired and exhausted, the last thing your mind is, wants is to get busy in the bedroom. But here's the real key. Sleep is closely linked to your sex hormones, especially testosterone. If you're not catching enough sleep, then your testosterone levels can plummet, leaving you with little to no desire for intimacy. So make it a priority to get at least seven hours quality sleep every night leading up to Valentine's Day. Trust me, you will thank yourself later. With optimal testosterone levels and plenty of energy, you'll be ready to rock your Valentine's Day festivities with passion and excitement. Okay, folks, so those are my top tips for spicing up your Valentine's Day. Now, I want to hear from you. Share your own tips and tricks for amazing Valentine's Day sex in the comments below. Let's spread the love and make this Valentine's Day one to remember. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out that link in the description box below for the free ebook for healing and overcoming your sexual shame. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye bye for now.